All right, welcome back to Top Flader Mouse Channel. We're out here today testing the uh, a standard old level 3A Kevlar ballistic vest. This is the same exact uh, type of vest that we use at work. In fact, this is my old vest once it was retired. So this one's even on the end of its lifespan, so it should be even less uh, structurally sound than a brand new one. Uh, this is in response to a recent video that uh, Jeff and I saw from the carbon nanotube technology people who were stating, stating in a video that one round in a standard Kevlar vest in a six inch square would uh, weaken that vest. One round in the center of that six inch square would make that vest no longer able to stop additional rounds. It would basically ruin the, the vest with one round. Their thought being that their vest was superior because it could take multiple rounds to one spot, which it did. However, we very much disagree with the theory that a standard Kevlar vest will only take one round. So today we're running a, M, a Smith & Wesson M&P 9 shield. We're gonna put some standard old nine millimeter ball ammo right into Doug's vest here, into that six inch painted square and see just how many it will take. Bear in mind that this is an informal test and we have no affiliation with any body armor company. Remember this vest is used decertified and has over 10,000 duty hours on it. One nice clean little hole and the round is in there. Okay, now according to the, uh, the, the competitors, uh, this area is dead as they called it. They said it was dead, meaning it can't no longer stop any bullets. So let's empty an entire magazine in it, then maybe pull it back and see if any have gone through. Ready? Yep. Okay, we kept all the bullets in a three inch diameter circle. And if you remember, the other manufacturer said that a six inch area would be dead if one bullet hit it. So we should have nine holes coming out of the back of the vest. Let's see if that's true or not. We flipped the panel over, peeled back the covering, and as you can see, it looks like two bullets actually went through. But remember, we concentrated 10 bullets in a 3-inch area instead of a 6-inch area. And on top of that, several of the bullets were within a half-inch area of one another. So it was very concentrated, and for an old ratty vest, this did very well. But if I can be critical of our own testing, as you can see here, as we shot the vest repeatedly, the, uh, the layers of Kevlar became fluffed up, and we're no longer being held flat against the body. In a real world situation, that panel would be held in a carrier, held snugly against the body. You'd have a shirt over the top of that, and you wouldn't be getting that delamination of the layers of Kevlar. Despite our possible test flaws, we still made our point. Now you will notice that on our ballistic dummy, there are no bullet exit holes coming out of the back of the shirt. There's nothing there. So whatever did make it through the vest did not have much energy. Now from what I've seen of the carbon nanotube body armor, it does look like a very good product. It's expensive, but in some ways it does seem superior to Kevlar. Now the problem is making false claim about your competitor's product to make your product look better. Now the six inch area of compromise on a Kevlar vest is completely false as you can see by our test. It took several bullets going basically through the same half inch area to make it through and only two of them went through. Another claim that they made that really stood out was that the normal vest that a police officer wears weighs 15 pounds. Now this front panel only weighs one pound eight ounces so the entire vest only weighs three pounds. And this particular brand of vest is very commonly used through many different branches of law enforcement. And if you wear this type of vest on duty every day 
and somebody is telling you that you, suddenly your body armor is inferior and after one shot it is no longer going to protect you well that's bad enough but imagine if your spouse got wind of that and how nervous that would make them now we made this video not just to satisfy our own curiosity but to get the truth out there at a time when it seems like you've got to watch your back more than ever the last thing you need to worry about is whether or not your Kevlar vest will save your life.